Hello and welcome back to my channel and today's video is a very brief what to pack for university because you don't need a very long list you just need these basics and I'm going to tell you all the basics you need so grab a drink and sit back and enjoy. Let's start with kitchen. Kitchen, everyone, all the videos I watched said take one piece of everything you don't need anything more than one plate one bowl blah blah blah. You do, you do. Don't, don't even kid yourself. Two of everything is perfect because you will have somebody over at some point, whether that be a friend, boyfriend, a girlfriend, somebody from home, a family member, something. You will need a second plate and a second bowl. It is just a case. Everyone who came into my house, like in my flat last year, every single one of them ended up buying a second plate if they only brought one. So we need two plates, two bowls, two glasses, two of everything, and at least two sets of cutlery. You won't need two sets of cutlery unless you're having more people over, but it is, they often come in packs of four anyway, so just take all the cutlery you can because it will get lost. I haven't lost any of mine, none of my flatmates lost any of theirs, but everyone tells me that it'll get lost, so bring all the cutlery you can, that is definitely the best idea. Now, kitchen-wise, you also need cooking equipment, so I'd say a good two pans, a large one and a small one. One for like big sauces, one for small ones for like pasta that you can have or rice. And then one baking tray, maybe a pizza tray if you want one. You don't need much more than that. And I would say like a big stirring spoon and a spatula will get you all the way you need. Oven gloves, not that big of a deal. You don't really need one unless you don't like using a tea towel like me, but bring a tea towel and you can use that as your oven glove. Everybody does it. That's all you really need for the kitchen. That's everything. If there's anything else you think about down below, I have a slow cooker. I love my slow cooker. I cook everything in my slow cooker, so I would take a slow cooker. Some people take toasty makers, some people take toasters and kettles. Our flat didn't come with a toaster or a kettle, so one person brought some, but then she took it to her university house the next year, so we didn't split the price. So that's all you need for the kitchen. Now bathroom may differ between ensuite and shared. I was in a shared accommodation, so all I really needed was my bath stuff. My shower gel, my shampoo, my conditioner, that sort of thing. And everyone told me to get a basket. Now a basket to carry stuff to the bathroom in, and I never used that, I just wrapped it all in a towel because it never fit everything I needed in that basket. So I wouldn't recommend getting a basket, but one of my flatmates did use her basket. So if you want a basket to carry your stuff to the, sh the shared bathroom, you do that. It isn't the be all and end all, and I think you should just trial it for the first week, and if you decide you want one, get one, and if you don't, never buy one. Because mine just sits and does nothing anymore. In an ensuite accommodation, you obviously won't need a basket, but you might want an organizer for the back of the door. The student accommodation I work in doesn't really have that much storage space in the bathroom. And I think an over the hanging door hanging thing with basket space, maybe perfect organization, or like a little chest of drawers or something that you can put in the bathroom that you can store your bath stuff in, as well as taking your bath stuff. If you have a glass shower door or a mirror in your bathroom, highly recommend getting a squeegee, which looks like this. You can get them from Ikea, really cheap, or you can get the pound shops really cheap. I highly recommend one of those because you can clean down the screen and it'll stop soap marks getting all over it, which you do not want. In your bathroom, you will need soap. My flat had a soap dish and they regularly, we just bought soap bars and took it in turns. We had a pump soap in a different bathroom and we shared those and we bought them as a flat. In an ensuite, that's not the situation. Do what soap you want, but do not forget soap. Do not forget toilet brush. Do not forget toilet roll because you don't want to be going out and buying them when you get there because there won't be any left during freshers week. When everyone's moving in, all that toilet roll is gone. So make sure you bring some with you because you will need it, even if it's just a small four pack. A bathroom bin too, because most accommodations don't come with a bathroom bin. So if you have an ensuite or if you have a shared one, talk about it with your flat and buy a bathroom bin because you need one. You might not think it, but you do. You need a bathroom bin. Towels wise, you need at least one hand towel and at least one bath towel. I have four hand, four bath towels and two hand towels. It is excessive. I say I could probably live with two towels and one hand towel, but I have four and two, so let's not go there. If you're in a shared accommodation as a communal flat, buy a bath mat and then leave it behind because you do not want that bath mat. It will be minging, just like ours was. We've been that when we moved out. The hand towel too. <laughs> but in an ensuite, you probably won't have to do that, so buy whatever you desire to make your bathroom look cute. Because having an ensuite, you can make it look really cute, so please do that, because it will be really nice for you to go in. Now, bedroom stuff. So, in your accommodation, you will probably have drawers and a wardrobe, so don't forget hangers. 
don't forget your clothes any drawers if you want organizers buy organizers i love them i love organizing my clothes but if you're just one of those people who can just put your stuff in your drawer just do it don't bother with the organizers if you don't use them at home now if you don't use them at home now you're not going to use them at university take it from me so buy organizers if you want them if not don't bother for your desk you might want a pencil pot i have two pencil pots they're great one for pens one for pencils it's great a laptop stand because you might not have a lot of desk space so if you put your laptop flat it'll take up more space than if it was slanted and further back on your desk you will want a couple of coasters, one for your desk and one for your bedside table, usually. I have an Echo Dot and I highly recommend to anyone going to university to get an Echo Dot. You can set reminders when you re remember something, you go, oh my god, I need to remember that in a couple hours, set a reminder. You need an alarm for the next morning, set an alarm. You can do so much. You wonder if it's going to rain today whilst you're getting dressed, ask Alexa. I need you to get an Echo Dot because it is amazing. I got one with a clock as a gift from a friend for finishing my A levels with such good grades and I highly recommend you get one if you can on Amazon day or something really cheap get an echo dot it's the best thing ever especially with the clock for your bedside table because you'll always know the time a lamp university accommodations don't come with a lamp I had two one on my desk and one on my bedside table you only need one if you don't really want one on your bedside table but my light switch was across the room so if I was going to get up to turn the light off i'd have to go all the way there so i'd rather have the lamp next to my bed so i had two you will need your laptop your ipad your phone whatever you use your nintendo switch your ps4 your tv any technology you want make sure you bring that and its chargers and an extension you need at least one extension i had one and in my new house i have two three if you count the one in the living room and four if you count the other one in the living room but you will need an extension so please do get one because it will make plugging things in so much easier than if you've got only four plugs on the wall if you watch my accommodation tour from last year which i'll link in the description you should look up that and the setup and that's how i use my extension in that flat in my new house tour that'll be coming out soon i'll show you how i'm using my extension leads in this room and why that's so important to me to have them where they are the final thing about bedding is you don't want a single you want double bedding just buy it i came with my single from home and i left university with a double because it's just so much more comfortable you're in like a little hut it's you need a double bed you need a double duvet i had a single bed with a double duvet it's perfect please get the double duvet everybody tells you to just just do it you want it you want it you know you want it use this as an excuse to go get it go and buy one now because you want it and then any decorative bits you want so fake plants real plants pin board decorations like pictures and photos you want it all you want to make your room your home so please do bring tissues, bring um, picture frames, bring artwork, bring anything that you want to make your room yours and bring a coat hook or an over the door hook or something. Mine didn't fit over my door because the fire doors don't shut with the over the door hook on. So I hung mine on my wardrobe with all my hoodies on but I needed that extra space because the hoodies didn't fit in my wardrobe and they didn't fit on the coat hooks that came in the room. So you will need one just wait until you get to university to see what will fit in your room because that will be the deciding factor as to what you get so thank you for watching if there's anything you think i missed please like and comment it below and let me know and i'll be like explain why i think you need that or why i think you don't i think it'll be quite interesting to see what sort of things people think i'm missing from this list but i think this is an all-rounder basics of what you will need when you move to university so Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. There is a Uni Things playlist on my channel that you can go watch. I'll link that in the cards afterwards. So see you next time and thank you for watching.